Good morning everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I have my planner set up for November featuring the Coco Daisy November kit Memphis season. Um, this wasn't my favourite kit so I have also used some bits and pieces from the October 2017 kit which you'll know if you've seen my video before, I absolutely adore that kit. Um, so there was my, very excited to use that. So the first thing I do is try and decide what planner I'm going to use um, and I was trying to decide whether to use the green one again or to use a different one. So I just have a little flick through just to look at some of the colours, what colours will go with the kit um, and decide from there. Um, I think I had a look at the brown one, yeah. So both of these are Webster's Pages, oh that's my little kitten Loki. Um, yeah, these plans I get from our website's pages, but I order them off a website called Craftlia, um, because you don't have to pay the customs when they get to the UK. Uh, so, yeah, this is where I'm just looking at the colours and what's what's going to look best in what planner. Um, like I said, I wasn't a huge fan of the Memphis season kit. Um, well, there was there were some really pretty parts to it and bits I did like, but I wasn't a lover of the whole thing altogether. Um, so I'm just trying to decide what pages to use and what, what parts of the October kit to use. I think I decided to use those stripe pages because the colours are quite autumn-y. Um, I actually ended up using both in the end but you'll see how I did that. Um, so month on two pages, one of my favourite pages of the whole planner. And I love the fox, that's what I liked so much about the kit in the first place, was that little fox. So I decided to use that October uh, cover as the cover for November. The first little bit of me setting up my planner is always a little bit all over the place because I kind of don't know where to start. Um, and this month it was a bit different. Normally I just set it up using the, the kit, but this is the first time I've really mixed up with another kit as well. So I was a bit stuck on where to start. This is just a photo album, but I keep all my stickers in it. Um, it's a little bit broken now, so it works good as a sticker storage. <clears throat> so when you get those sheets of stickers left over with like a couple little dots and things, I just put them in here. So I think I just go for this and just pull out all the stickers that I plan on using or I might use any sort of autumn-y theme colours. I also have this tin which is my sort of ongoing planner stuff. Do you know when you've been like doing it for a couple of hours and you don't want to really put it away yet? I just scrape it all in this tin. Um, and that just looks a bit tidier on my desk. But also it tends to be because the colours each season are sort of mix into each month. Anything that's in that tin I can normally still use over the next couple of months. So I'm just trying to find a way of covering up where it says October on there. So I found this sticker that said uh, Hello November. I think that was from the Succulent skit a couple of years ago, which is actually my first ever Coco Daisy. Um, so I just wanted to see what it would look like. So that's why I'm trimming around it to see if I could get it to cover the whole word. But it doesn't quite cover the whole word, I don't think. You can't really see. good thing with these stickers, I find you can peel them off as long as you haven't probably pushed the whole thing down. You can push them off, peel them off quite well. I love that little mushroom as well, it's so cute. And I'm just trying to decide on a way of covering up where it says October and then using that Hello November as a sticker over the top. Um, I think I must be looking for a sticker somewhere. Um, there we are. Found a sticker. So it's the on the kit on that page of all the stickers with like the tabs and stuff on. You've only got one little blank sticker, um, and that worked quite well because it was from the same month, from October. So it had the little mushrooms that match. 
and she says hello in November. The where it says 2017, I left that for the minute and I will tackle that at a later date because I couldn't figure out how to change it for now. I think in the end I just got a pencil and made it into a nine. It worked quite well. Um, so then I'm just making a little sticker that says November rather than October to stick over that edge bit. <coughs> Not my favourite way of doing the cover with the little sticker on it, but it works. Um, it's alright. These actually really handily, I don't know if that's a word, but it is now, um, came unpunched so I could punch them where I wanted. Um, and then on the back, obviously, you've got it says 10 and it's got the October calendar from a couple of years ago um, so I, again I, I left that for the minute to figure out how I was going to cover it later point so I wanted to use the month on two pages from October as well because I like the fox so much um, again the dates weren't quite right so I left that for the minute to figure out later at this point I'm pretty much just using the October kit um, I did come back to and use parts of November Key, you'll see in a bit, um, I did use them. So what I am doing here, I just try, wanted to try something a little bit different. So previously I've done that um, thing where I've laminated part, like dividers in it. This here, I trimmed the week on one page down a little bit, so it's a bit narrower, and then washi taped it to the week on two page. Um, so it's like a little flap or a, a, a tip in, I think that's what they're called. Um, I thought that might be a cool way of doing it because the laminating thing, although I like how it looks, it takes me a long time to do, wastes a lot of laminating wallet, um, and also I don't have any left. So um, I don't live right in town, so it's a good hour round trip walking to go get some. Um, so I thought, nah. It's my day off, I haven't got time for that. I'll do it this way, I'll try something a bit different. And actually I really like how it's turned out. And it's actually proving to be quite useful. Um, I love that washi tape as well. That again was October. Um, yeah, this, this is more like October featuring November. Although I've used it for November. So that made um, quite a nice little flap there. Um, the reason I trimmed it down is so you've got space for the holes, for the hole punches, um, so they can fit in in the folder like that still. Um, so then I did that for all the other pages. Yeah, I sped it up a bit now. There we are, all done. <laughs> um, so this is where I'm like, right, I'm going to have to figure out a way of changing the dates on these. Um, oh, so I just use those alphabet stickers to put November instead of October. Um, they're very handy, I love alphabet stickers. Even um, if I run out, I tend to always go to like the range or somewhere, or Hobbycraft, I make sure I've got plenty of alphabet stickers in a variety of colours for this sort of thing. I need to find um, numbers. For some reason, number stickers and number stamps are really hard to find. I can find letters, um, but I struggle to find numbers. And it would be really helpful for um, a week on one page, I think, to find number stamps. Because <laughs> getting just a planner kit, you just get the one set of numbers. And I could do with a couple. So, um, for the, the calendar, initially I was just going to use those... Um, little triangle Monday to Sunday stickers and change it along the top. In the end, I decided I would cut out the calendar from the November kit and stick it over the October one. Um, cutting around it a little bit so I could make sure I could keep the artwork of October. Um, good thing is the November colours still match. They're still that autumnal sort of um, palette of colours. So they match really well. Um, there he is again. <laughs> And again, he desperately wanted to get up here. He normally sits on my lap and watches if I'm on my laptop or something, but at this point obviously I wasn't on my laptop, um, so he wanted to see what it was all about. And that's him playing with a the curtain. <laughs> there is another kitten somewhere, but he doesn't make an appearance, I don't think. He's a bit more shy. 
and he's called Thor. That's why we've got Loki and Thor. <laughs> I'm really particular about gluing this down. I wanted it to sit perfectly. So it took me a couple of attempts. Yeah. It works quite well. And I think that works better than me putting um, little number, uh, not number, date, not even dates, day stickers along the top because then my calendar would have sat out on a Tuesday and that would have been strange. <clears throat> that flashing every now and then is literally the cat kitten climbing the curtain. Um, so then I'm thinking about dividers and um, I changed it up a little bit from the previous month. I had the a couple of dashboards and I didn't realise that back then the dashboards were double sided. So then I was like, oh, I'm going to have to like glue one or cover one. So I normally just get a, a notebook and write out an idea of how I plan to have my dividers. I, I can't just throw myself into this because I need to know how I'm going to divide it up and if I've got enough pieces of card. Um, so just deciding what each divider is going to be called, where I'm going to put it um, and also what card I'm going to use. flip back and forward a couple of times because I did change it up from October that I'm using at the moment. So I decided to use the sort of ready orangey brownie spot one and that um, beigey leaf colour pattern one. <coughs> Sorry. Um, and I used my guillotine again. I didn't put that in this video though because you know what a guillotine does. <laughs> I cut these pieces out. Um, like I said, I cut it in the middle where that fold is, so I stick that together on this one because I, I didn't like the other sides. Didn't mind the leaf pattern so much, wasn't a fan of the that one, the abstracty colour splat one. But I, I only needed three dividers for this month anyway, um, which is unusual. But it's because last month I made the three um, section home, work, hobbies, and trackers as well so I had an extra few dividers that I didn't need this month because I'm just going to move them between planners seasonally though because I don't see these colours mixing well with the December kit that was revealed today which is beautiful I already know what plan I'm using for that so I'll make new dividers then I always use like the my sleeve to flatten it down because then you don't get glue on your hands and it kind of gets with any little air bubbles and things out. So there's my dividers all ready to go. To just trim down the edge of one of them because it was overlapping a little bit and that's probably what I'm doing there yeah um, and then it's tabs one of my favorite bits to do so those are the October tabs I, I chose between those because I thought they'd match the um, autumn theme a bit more punch them all again. Being a couple of layers of card it was a bit tougher so that's why I had to take it out of screen because I had to use my body to do it. <laughs> and then I alternate it so I've got the beigey one, the spot one and then the beigey one again. Um, and like in the past I've done it so I like the tabs to match the dividers this time, for this month and last month, I kind of just went with any. 
Because I didn't think the pages necessarily matched the dividers as the the dividers match the tab sorry as much as they have done in the past so I'm kind of trying to be more give myself a bit more freedom with it rather than being strict and because I find if I'm a bit strict like this has got to be neat and this has got to be perfect it stresses me out and I end up not using it so I've kind of allowed myself to um be a bit more free with it if it's not perfectly neat it's not perfectly neat then it kind of makes it a bit more unique um so I'm kind of just going with it and seeing how it turns out and actually I was pleased with how it turned out so um I think that's a, a technique I'll have to try and adopt for the rest of well from now on so then this is where I'm going to put my tabs in and put my little stickers on again I can't remember what stickers I used for each and it's too small for me to see um, Yeah, there's, you always get um, a blank couple of stickers on here as well, which are perfect to use for the the last little tab. I like actually just having the three tabs on the side. So then I... what did I do next? Oh, I planned out how I was going to use it, and actually I did loads of planning on what I was going to use it for, and then I didn't do it that way in the end. Um, but what my idea was to do was because I had these stripe pages, I was going to use those for planning. Um, and then these six boxes, I was going to do um, one for tracking exercise, one for tracking eating, one for tracking mood, that sort of thing. Um, but I actually decided against that in the end. I really wanted to have a go with stamps as well this month because we got that stamp kit. Um, and quite a, a, a stamp kit that's quite easy to use. Um, I wanted to have a go and I have all these stamps, I took out all these autumny colours and just had a quick go and I actually found it really satisfying how they came out. Um, <clears throat> so although I think I do a couple of stamps on this page, since that's as much as I've done in it so far, it's given me some ideas that I'm hopefully going to do. Oh, I'm trying to decide on a colour. Um, <clears throat> I think that's as much as I do, yeah. And then I've got to stick the date stickers on. Um, and I kind of just stick these anywhere. Um, in the past I've been a bit like, oh, I need to stick on perfectly. Oh, and then I use the November week on one pages. Um, to make a flap on the other side as well because um, uh, what I have started doing um, <laughs> it's kind of been an ongoing joke that since I started doing these videos all I said the one stick I have never used is the exercise tracker and occasionally I would make a section called exercise tracker and I'd do something as far as I'd go for a run and that would be it um, however I have a, an event I have to go to in a couple of weeks and I don't quite fit into the dress I want to wear, so I have joined the gym and I have been going. So actually, the section, gym exercise section, might get used this month. <laughs> uh, so I just used one of the dashboards to cover the calendar and where it said 10 on that side. I tried to cut the calendar out of the um, November front cover, but I did look how it looked. So I put another little sticker there that says November and I just stuck this over that. I had a hole punch it as well though. I felt kind of bad gluing over that. But it's alright because I love that dashboard. And I love that quote as well. It's um really quite fitting because in our new house 
opposite we have a little brook and um, a load of trees and the, it's been actually really nice. You can, when you sit in the bed, look out the window, you just see the trees in you and they change colour from the green and I've gone to the yellows and the browns. Um, and I think that quote's really fitting that if you really like nature, you'll see that everywhere. Um, that was quite deep, but it's true. So I originally put it in this brown one, uh, but I decided actually I'm just going to put it in here as well. Um, so I kind of made this promise to myself that if I joined back to Gofi Daisy, I would not buy a new planner every month because that was doubling how much I spent. So I was like, I've got to put it in here. So that's what I've done. And I'm just handwriting all the dates on, on these flappy, flappy, flat pages again. <coughs> actually writes really nice I know I said I wasn't a fan of the floor pattern but it writes really nice and it, it's, it's, it's a nice pattern it just makes me think of the floor at work um, but it's fun it's prettier than the floor at work I realized when I got to work the next day this is just my forward planning section I want to find some nicer forward planning pages I do make my own inserts so I might have to use some of those um, if I get around to making some more. And I just used that uh, last dashboard just to divide up the last page, to divide the sections up. Um, and then I put a couple more stickers in, because I like to have a stick on the back of the tabs as well. my front page and put goals on it. And of course I have I've forgotten to do all the actual number stickers here. And I've done the same thing again and I covered that weekend bit up and made that flat page into Sunday. Like I said before, Sunday is the same. I have Sunday off every week, so that's where I'll do a majority of my stuff. I get a day off in the middle of the week as well, but that often changes. So I normally get well, I know obviously a few days before it's my day off, but Sunday is where I'll do most of my stuff. Although um, these videos I always do on my day off in the morning because. I get shy and I can only speak on camera if there's no one else in the house. <laughs> That's always one of my favourite bits putting these stickers in. Don't know why, it's simple but it's good fun. I think what I might do, I didn't do in this, but I think I will, is use some sort of tab on the top of those sheets to divide it up like I did last month, but obviously I did it on the um, laminated sheets last time. I just normally have a last flick through just to make sure I've got everything. Um, and then I put all my stickers, all my little bits and pieces back in there. Um, the big sheet of stickers I cut in half so it fits in there. Um, and the number stickers. And that is my whole setup for the month. Um, I will do a video at the end of how I used it. But for now, if you liked, please subscribe and follow um, because I'm really grateful if you do that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and that is the end. Thank you very much for watching.